and welcome back guys i'm your host keyblade carry 2010 we are continuing on with devil may cry 5. viewer discretion is advised this gameplay is rated m for mature if you're under the age of 17 you probably should not be watching this this does contain quite a bit of gore quite a bit of violence uh heavy language from time to time and uh it, we do talk about demons devils and all that so if you're triggered by any of these things please go check out some of my more family friendly ones which is rated t for teen games and rated e for everyone games those ones i think you'll find a little bit more in entertaining if not and you uh stumbled upon uh, my youtube page to find something else whether it be cosplay tutorials TikTok videos unboxing videos, reaction videos, or even the updates and report videos that I do, you can definitely um, find those in, um, in certain playlists as well. You can find pretty much anything you might find interesting about my page as well. Um, just check it out. If you are interested in continuing on with Devil May Cry 5, we'll be jumping into the game right here, right now. You have been warned. Okay, so we ended up getting the, um, the last and final letter to, uh, to Virgil, or I mean not to Virgil, to um, Nero. So we're going to actually take a look at that as well. And then I want to show you something else before we uh, wrap everything up. So let's go into here. Here is the fourth and final letter. Um, and then we're pretty much caught up on everything uh, story-wise, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they couldn't do these in cutscenes. They've been doing everything else in cutscenes, but as I guess for some reason the letters are... Uh, are just like the only letter that you actually get is the first one and then the others you actually have to wait throughout the game to actually get but it's not like we're getting a massive uh introduction to literally say here you have a, a new letter to read from what's his name you know or what's her name or whoever you know it's kind of sad because these letters are very interesting and intricate and um I think they're full of details on about Dante and stuff like that, which is kind of cool, in my opinion. And now Nero is going to be pretty much caught up on everything, which is great. Not too bad of a read. And they're really short. They're not, like, super long either, which is great. I like that. <clears throat> They're, like, straightforward and down to the point. Again, feel free to pause if uh, if I'm going too fast on you. We do have a game to play. So, but, yep. There is the final letter, and we're done with that entirely. We won't have to come back here again. Um, I also want to show you the jukebox. The jukebox contains all Devil May Cry 5 music. Not just Devil May Cry music. But they also have Devil May Cry 1, Devil May Cry 2, and Devil May Cry 3, as well as well as Devil May Cry 4 battle music. So if you wanted to set it up to a certain person, you can have Nero, Dante, or V, and have his specific music play that battle music that you specifically want. Um, I'm not going to go over them entirely because of the fact that, you know, I might get copyright for them, but they are the original soundtracks from their respectable games, which I think is fantastic and magnificent in its, in its own self. If you want to actually look up these songs, go for it and listen to them, and yeah, it's great. Uh, we can also have the voice ranking uh, system only specific characters can have it if you really want it to. Uh, the title screen is awesome to actually have on because it runs through all of the Devil May Cry characters that we have either uh, that have been in the games and it will basically say Devil May Cry um, and every time that you open up the game it'll be a different voice if you turn this on. If you do not turn it on 
it's gonna be that female voice that we've been hearing most of the game. So, which I'm gonna leave it that way because I'm one of those ones, if I change things, it's gonna bug me. So, also another thing that I can uh, do too, which is cool, I can hit square and I can actually hide the menu screen and look around at my surroundings, which I think is really cool and interesting. Dante's sword is sitting there on uh, the far right there. So we're going to do that for each of the, the screens here because I think that's kind of cool. So let's do library, let's do hide screen, and it looks like they got some skulls, candles everywhere, and just a bunch of uh, paperwork. Nothing too uh, significant here. I don't know, I just thought that was interesting. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what it is whatsoever. Uh, so you have the regular cutscenes here of all the, the regular stuff. Then you have uh, the Devil May Cry history. Uh, and then you have all the director's cutscenes of when uh, they basically performed this in a small room. And then they eventually uh, did uh, the motion controls and stuff like that. So we got, looks like a camera, old cassette tapes, the shotgun, looks like a stuffed animal. Uh, she's got massive, interesting decorations, I will say that. Some demon head that's got, like, darts put through it. So that's kind of interesting how, how the developers thought this would be cool. Uh, I think we already, yeah, we already did jukebox. Uh, in here. Okay, so we can also do it in here as well. Uh, we can see the characters, we can see enemies, enemies and bosses, weapons all the orbs that I've collected, all the abilities I've collected, all the tutorials, so if you forget things, you know. <clears throat> so we can look around her workshop, just a little bit. Not much is really going on in this scene. There's her helmet that she wore. So, uh, oh look! Down in the right hand corner is a Devil May Cry uh, enemy, but it's uh, like a figurine of that enemy. That's kind of interesting. I didn't notice that when I first looked at this. So maybe you might be able to notice like some little Easter eggs like that. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. I don't know what this is. If one of you guys can figure it out and tell me that be, that'd be glorious. So we're going to hide it one last time and take one last look around. So looks like she's got some stuffed animals. Uh, this would be the front of the vehicle, by the way. Uh, behind us is the back of the vehicle, or the, in front of us is the back of the vehicle. So, yeah, there's some weapons I see, a lot of magazines, coffee with lipstick stain on it, and a dessert on the table. Some interesting light fixtures and stuff like that. So that's really neat that the developers thought about this that we want, would want to look around in, in, in her RV. All right, so that's basically it. We're going to jump into uh, the gameplay now, because I know all of you are all like, where's the gameplay? I didn't really want to read anything. I didn't want to check out anything. But now you know it's there, so that way you can decide to pretty much be all like, hey, I want Devil May Cry 1 music. Hey, I want Devil May Cry 4 music, or 3, or 1, or, you know, 2, you know? It's there for you to actually use, which I think is beautiful on the developer's part. So, let's continue with Mission 18 Awakening. Ooh, that'll be cool. Oh my gosh, I think we got two missions left after this. But yeah, just a little something something. We probably won't come back to that area whatsoever again. This is it. Thought I'd show that off see uh for those who are interested in wanting to see what's in her rv or wanting to see that you know hey it's not just devil may cry 5 music you can also change it to other previous devil may cry and we already saw the history that was the intro that i did for the game that my girlfriend read over so we already saw that video Hmm, I'm gonna miss V. I really liked V. 
You got some pretty big cojones for coming back. You just don't know when to give up! Get out of my way, Nero! Wow. He's really wanting to end this. Defeating you like this has no meaning. Come on, Virgil. Let's do this. Heal your wounds, Dante. Get strong. After that, we'll settle the matter. <laughs> Yeah, but you were the butthead who tore off his arm. Damn it. But I guess V is saying thank you. If that's your brother, what happened to V? He returned to himself. Go home, Nero. This doesn't concern you. Like hell. I lost my right arm because of him! This is not your fight. I need to stop him, and that's all that matters. I'm not gonna let you have all the fun, Dante. You don't get it. Uh. Let me guess. I'm dead weight? Well, you can That's shove not it in What is it then? He's your father! Holy shit, it's what? been confirmed. Oh my god, it's been fucking confirmed. Then wait, who's his mom? I had the feeling the first time I saw you, but I just wasn't sure. Oh my god. And then I saw how the Yamato reacted. And I was certain. He's your father. Oh my god. Now he needs an ass kicking. But I can't have you go kill your old man. So that makes you grandpa. Doesn't it? My father. Yeah. Who's your mother? I want to know now. I'm curious. Who the hell did Virgil screw to have you? That's the real question. Like, I, it was already speculated in Devil May Cry 4 that Nero was because of the fact that he could take on Yamato, but it wasn't, like, absolutely official. The developers did say, you know, hey, this is a, a thing, and I was all like, I don't know if you're just wanting to the fan or uh, appease the fans. That day. If our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Would I have your life and you mine? Let's settle this, Dante. But yeah, that's just my my speculation of, you know, I, I, I heard a lot of people speculate about Nero. And then to what? have it confirmed What's is amazing. Oh god, I thought it was over. This isn't good. We're gonna get dragged into this. Dante, what happened? My dumbass brother's back and I'm gonna rip him a new one. Virgil's how? Dante! Made it for Lady and she paid for it, so consider it a rental. Hey, you can't just- Okay, okay, we'll take care of that later. Right now, you three get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go take care of old douchebag. Got a feeling this one's gonna be a doozy. Oh my goodness. Alright, so in the previous episode- Oh, so this is round two. I don't really care for round two because I don't use the damn thing. Um... The previous weapon of the nunchucks also got, I believe that's what you call them, got shown as well. Um, but sadly, that was one after I clicked away, which I should have known better, but whatever. But yeah, I just, I find it so awesome. 
I find it so amazing to know that information. Like, it really literally blew my freaking mind. It really did. Was that it? No, we're on mission 18, right? Yeah, awakening. Yeah, we're still on mission 18. It just, oh my gosh, my mouth dropped when they actually put it in the game. I was super ecstatic to be all like, Yep, it's official, but like I said, I'm confused of why. Because Virgil's always been the loner type. I would want to know who the mother is to, to Nero, to be honest. I really would, just out of curiosity. Um, I don't know, maybe he had an intimate moment. Oh, now she's in the shower. That's funny. <laughs> get back take your dang shower you can talk when you get out Jesus okay so let's find out what's going on in um in our abilities here we're playing I believe as Dante again yes we are uh, I, I'm kind of amazed that Nero kind of takes a little bit of a back seat in this entire game. And I get why, because it, it's pretty much the climax of Dante's story. I really, really, absolutely would love for them to continue Devil May Cry and make it Devil May Cry 6. And Dante's not around anymore. You know, maybe he's the legendary uh, Sparta now, you know. Maybe he's the legendary... Dark Knight Dante. I don't know. Sparta story has been told like numerous times and I love Sparta story. I would also love for them to make a game where Dante and Virgil and Nero team up along with the ladies obviously and team up to go and save their father. Like that that would be cool to see. I would love to see that actually. And maybe that would be the ending, that would be the full ending to the games series, is them going and saving Sparta. I think that would be really cool. But who knows, this might be the end game for Devil May Cry, which it would really bum me out, because I love Devil May Cry. And to see a series end is so heartbreaking. It really is. It's, it's just like watching an anime, too. It's, it's very heartbreaking to watch an anime do that. When all you want is more, 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 but there's only so much that they can do. I would love to see game a game with just Nero. And Dante's the legend now, or Dante's not in the picture anymore. I have fully accepted Nero being the new over for Dante. I can see him actually sitting in Dante's chair and running Devil May Cry. Never would have guessed you'd come back. Damn it, V. Was this your plan all along? I'm pretty sure it was. He wanted to reunite himself with his humanity, you know. He wanted to give the unknown name his humanity back. Hmm. Oh no. Hey guys, where you been? I thought you went back into Virgil. <laughs> You're gonna wish you did. Oh, the wise guy Dante. We were spawned from Virgil's abominable thoughts. But you knew how he... Come to think of it, I did know something was off. Just like with my old brother. Well, we're merely the discarded thoughts from when he was Neo Angelo. No longer bound in his consciousness, we're here now to kill you of our own free will. Liberating! And kill you we shall, Dante. Us, not Virgil. So these are the thoughts of when he was Neil An Le Neil Angelo. I'm gonna take you out first because you're you're just annoying. I love you. You were a great asset, and I'm sad that face you like a man. Face you like a man. 
but it's, it, I don't know, it's a little bittersweet, you know. Oh, you turned into your crystal. I don't know, I just, I think that's interesting. Oh crap, all the upgrades that I did on him are now available to him. I really like the little chicken because he's like really great. His little one-liners are, are freaking hilarious. Great. Can't wait for the rematch. Get out of my face. Go away. So since they're discarded thoughts, that means that they're they're nothing anymore. And they're free to do what they want. I, I will say that is kinda interesting to, to know. Which means the the games are canon. All of the games are canon because they've mentioned several things from the previous Devil May Cry games. And it's great. Like, we fought before, we've blah blah blah, blah you know. I love that. Oh, is this another one of those areas that we can get a, a blue stone to? Oops. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Get out of my face. You armed things can't do nothing. You were useless in Devil May Cry 4. You're useless now. You were nothing but his minions, and now you've taken on a form of your own. Okay, I'm going too far away from my entry point, so I'm just gonna... I see. Oh, look, another one of you. Perfect. Alright, see you later, dude. Flock off, feather face. Or you could stick around and find out the hard way. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Dante's turn to do this. Ugh. Yuck. Mmm, lovely. <laughs> so for right now, we're only doing an electrical element until I can actually get that. Oh, hello! Hello, pretty! You were such a valuable person. I'm so sorry I have to fight you. It's a little bit bittersweet because you used to fight at my side with V, but... Yeah, if you're not careful, they'll turn into these little orb things that V has to walk over and, and rescue. Ow. Alright. You're gonna run away too? That's what I thought, little buddy. Running away? Nah, I don't think so. Yes, please. Oh, hi. You're just an insect, just randomly spawned in. Hi, excuse me. Oh, yay! It's the orb one! I love you. I can sit and beat you up all day for orbs. Oh, there's two of you! Come here! Yes, please! Oh, there's a third one of you? Is there really? Yes, there's a third one of you! Come here! Come here! I only want your orbs that you have. Oh, look! Oh, I wonder if in each level, if, if that's a thing, I don't know. Let me see. Where did it spawn at? 
It spawns somewhere. Uh, I will find it. It spawns somewhere. Hi! Get out of my face! You keep following me. Quit stalking me, you weirdo. I'm pretty sure it might be up at the top. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you. I much appreciate it. Yeah, I haven't been able to find all the secret missions. I've only been able to find two. Okay. Oop. Is there... Is this all one area? It looks like it. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Up, jump, jump, jump. Okay, not that way. Let's go... Yoink, yoink. Alright. Ooh, you're back again. Hello, darling. Welcome back to the, to the party. I thought for sure you were going to run away. <laughs> One more round. It's like I'm back on Malay Island. Yeah, it is like you're back on Malay Island. <laughs> Devil May Cry 1, people. Devil May Cry 1. I always check around here. You never know when you're going to find something. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Like a don't stand a chance. Are they trying to attack or something? Maybe. Who knows? But I will say this. That's that's really gross. I mean, how would you know to actually get in there to do that, you know? Wouldn't you look at it and be like, well shoot, this is a dead end. How am I gonna use this as an elevator? Hmm, let's give it a try, see where it takes me! Ha ha ha, let's go! If you know what I'm saying. Alright, let's see here. We're pretty much, uh... Almost done with, uh, Dante. Dante's abilities, at least. Well, some of them I haven't really touched because of the fact that I just not interested in using that weapon of choice. Uh, no. No. Let's see here. None of these. Alright, well, shoot. Is this a staff? Okay. That's it. Alright, well, let's take a look. Ah, uh, there we go. Again, this is the gun I don't want to use. Get it off my screen. Thank you. <laughs> it can be a powerful weapon all at once, but it takes too much time to charge up. Just saying. Ooh, stretch. It's these weapons. Well, hello, buddy. Bring it on. This is a great workplace to die. All right, come on. Holy cow. Ah! I think this is how I'm going to defeat this one first. No, you won't, little bird. Come here. 
I'm sorry you were a valuable asset to me, and I'm sorry that you were discarded thoughts from Neil Angelo. I'm so sorry, but it is what it is, dude, and I wish you were on the good guy side, but sadly, you're choosing to to be evil. I can't, I can't change your mind, so... Alright, buddy. Let's do this. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come on, big guy. It's time to stop. Oh, you brought him back. Yeah, well, now I just have to defeat you. Nice job, dude. Ow. Come here, buddy. I did not know you could actually bring him back, but alright. I knew you can bring him back in battle and that V has to do it, but I guess since V is no longer available, this dude would be able to bring him back. Makes sense. That's it. It's almost bittersweet to defeat you guys. You guys were so great. Should have known better. You got a good heart, but you're about as sharp as a marble. Perhaps. But if you had even a little bit of trouble defeating us, imagine what Virgil can do to you. <laughs> Go see for yourself. Us. This is our final flight. And the end of Virgil's nightmare. Godspeed, Dante. You'll need it. Rest in peace, little chicken. It's been a bash. Sorry, that was uh, my PE coming to check on me. See if I had a bill for him, but I don't. Lady would know because she's actually killed her father. So. So yeah, that was just my PE ringing the doorbell. Um, I don't really, or didn't really have any bills for him to to take off me. But yep, that's all good to go. So we have two more missions left, guys. Oh my gosh, how does it feel to, to know that the game is almost over? Whew. Man, I just want to keep going. I just want to keep going and keep going and keep going. I really don't want to ever let Devil May Cry go. I, I hope they continue to make good, decent games. 
minus the terrible excuse me i need to stop doing that <laughs> i need to stop mentioning that terrible game i really do <laughs> all right guys i am your host keyblade curry 2010 thank you guys so much for all your support if you're new to the channel and you like what you see please smash that subscribe button leave a thumbs up leave a comment down below and definitely hit that notification bell so that way you get notified when i upload to the channel and you don't miss out on my my uploads um, also, if you're interested, down in the des description box, I also have my wonderful Facebook page and my wonderful Instagram page where I post random stuff, whether it be cosplay, uh, stuff that I'm working on, cosplay pictures, or just randomness of my day-to-day -day life. Um, yeah. Or sometimes I post events uh, that I'm going to or things that I'm going to on my page as well. So that way you can possibly meet me face to face. So definitely check out Facebook for sure because I will definitely be posting um, information within uh, weeks to come of events that are going on. And uh, you could possibly meet me at one of these said events. So yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for all your loving support, and if you are even more interested in supporting this amazing channel, you can definitely go down in the description and find the Patreon account. If you do donate, your name will be mentioned in a video and a personal thank you will be sent out to you as well. If not, that's okay. That's all good and dandy. You're already s d supporting this channel enough as it is by watching this video and watching another one of my videos. And that's all I can ask for. So, thanks guys so much. I am your host, Keele Carey, 2010, signing out. Game on gamers, cosplay on cosplayers. Bye!